Thank you, Susie. Yes. And thank you, Mary Kay. And I would also like to honor Mr. Pepe Chua for the honor and also to Miss Colifan for inviting me again. Thank you so much. Most of all, I want to honor all of you. Just by being here, you are really successful. Can I know how many men, male, Beauty consultants here, can you stand up? Wow. Can we all again? Fantastic. Wow. Great. Thank you. Thank you. So now, when we go out with our men, our men look just as good as us. So it's competition, which is really, really healthy. What I will cover this one hour to help you to shine more in your success and to get that pink Mercedes is we're going to talk about psychology of colors. What I would like to talk about is how to use colors to influence mood. Just now, when you look at this one here, what do you see? The colors or the lines? Colors, right? So colors play a big part in human psychology. It can affect us, it can provoke us as well. And we also want to have standard guidelines. One hour, I can share so many things, but let's just focus on the training colors that can also help you in your business growth. Is that good for you? Yeah. So it's standard guidelines. Huh? So if you want a more general guideline, another round perhaps. I like, I think everywhere in the market, you hear this word about looking good. It's not everything, but looking good is the thing that gets you started. And what Mary Kay has said, Right, it's about, wait, just a minute, yes. The people judge you by your appearance. Do we agree? Yes. And our mom asks us not to judge people by its appearance, <laughs> but we do. So as I walk on stage, I think you're already judging, do I qualify to stand beside you? So apart from appearance, do people put appraisals only on our grooming or also how confident we look? Yes, so we've been promoting this all along and I'm so glad that even Mary Kay Ash herself also support this. Right. So for first impression, how fast it does to form a first impression? About seven seconds? If you say four seconds, you're not wrong. Six seconds, you're not wrong. So in these seven seconds, what does it constitute? Is visual. Visual is 55%. So when you saw the slide just now, you saw the color first. So out of this 55% the visual, colors plays a very big part. So when you walk out, yesterday I was here, one big group of beauty consultants, my friend Grace and her own group, that blue strikes me that must be from Mary Kay. So it's just the color that really conquer my attention, capture my attention. And I saw another group of red ladies, and I saw another group of yellow ladies, right? So what are you doing? You are using colors to capture attention, and it's a very, very big part. The other one is what? The voice. If you have been through last year's class, we talk about the voice. How do you say hello to people? Is this just hello or hello? Which way? Hello. Raise your eyebrow, right? So check, turn to your neighbor and say hello. Hello. Yes. Not the, not the look of surprise, but the look of like recognition. Not hello. No. Hello. Yes, the look of recognition. So why do you go for product knowledge? It's because you want to build up your verbal, that means the substance. But people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And the first thing that arrests attention is colors. If you have a chance to go to the Mary Kay Academy where you learn about grooming, they do talk about warm and cool. And that is a very useful tool for you to have. So if you look at this picture here, what do you see? Slim ladies. I used to be as slim as them as well, right? 
Is it interesting or is it quite bland? Bland. Now? Yeah. Interesting. Right. And you wish that you have got that kind of outfit. Well, all of you are already very, very careful. Who is the one that stands out? Is it the bright warms or the bright cools? The bright warms, huh? How many of you have ever eaten McDonald's? How many of you have not eaten McDonald's? <coughs> That's the one, huh? You know, that even in the commercial centers, they use colors to influence your mood. So when you go to McDonald's, do you find that you get a bit more excited, especially your children? Because the colors are bright. It's a very happy color. It's a very happy place for you to be in. Now, it excites you. Do you know that it also increases your appetite? That's why you eat the extra chips. Are the chips necessary? No. Are the nuggets necessary? You only need a hamburger, but you need more because it makes you want to eat more. And I ask all the gentlemen here, especially the front row, our, yes, our national sales directors, better half. Have you ever brought your wife fine dining? Yes. Do they eat more or do they eat less during fine dining? Less, but you pay 100 times more. You know why? Because when you go to those environments where it's very calm, it's very cool, the ladies talk softer. <laughs> because it help, it yes, it promote that kind of a soft feeling. So even if you eat a little bit more, you say I'm already full. <laughs> but after you leave the restaurant, I'm not so sure. <laughs> right? Yes. What it does is it suppresses your appetite. It calms you down. That's why when you go higher, you wear the blue because you already have a certain level of authority. You want to look calmer. You want to look like more in command. And men always want to give people the impression they are more in common. So most men, they will wear cool colors. I see none of you wearing the bright red except the red jacket men. All of you, right? So you are the calm beneath the storm. Wow. Right. Do you want to know the meaning of the red jacket? Yes. So you must know how to wear red as well. So we're going to go to the main color and that is red. Yeah? You find it so exciting? When I look at you, I'm also very excited, right? And then what brain can do to us? What it does is, it makes us more excited, it makes us want to do more. How much energy do you have? If you are a very low energy person, you feel tired with rate as well. So you have to know, what does rate do to you? First of all, it can influence more. To tell people that you are passionate. Yes. You have power. Right, you're sexy, you're aggressive. What you see now, huh? The basic black. I think every one of us here must have the basic black. And if it's too low, like what Anne does, just add the two ones. Right. We are going to check this red one. This is your red jacket. We put it on Kimberly. Does she look good? Sure look good because what happened is Mary Kay is very smart. We use a neutral rate, a neutral rate that everyone can handle. So we're gonna put it on. And does she instantly look more powerful? Yeah. More passionate? Yeah. A lot of passion. Right. It's a different rate, uh, look. This is fire engine rate. If I put the fire engine rate, is it? A little bit much for Anne. Can't really see, yeah. Right. Her, she herself. If you are a very quiet person, you find that this one by the end of the day you are very tired. This one is more manageable. And if I'm not wrong, Kimberly is real hot stuff. Yes. Yeah, so let's put this one on Kimberly. Does she look good in this red? Does she look all fire for adventure? Oh, by the way, if you do not know, both of them are from Mary Kay. New to Mary Kay, from Johor side and from Singapore side. Wow! Yes. Thank you, ladies. Now we're going to look at our Muslim ladies. How do they look with outrage? Without rate, they look friendly. 
really. I just can't believe why she loves to lose so much weight. I can't recognize her. Right. Yes. So what you need is a red jacket on you. Can we have the red jacket? Mm. So when you wear neutral this way, you just look unassuming. Very easy to connect. But sometimes you need some power inside. Right now, you want to empower you. I'm going to try the red jacket again. No, the red jacket. Right. I'm going to put this one. Not so red. It's a deeper red. It means it's more grounded. So if it's more grounded and I put it on Nadia, is it okay for her? All right. Does she need a bit more spice, a bit more power? Because she's softer nature. Right. So let me have the red one. No? All right. Then we're going to put this one on Sheila. Does she look good in this red? Instead of the fiery red? Right, let's try it on. Is that better? Right. So I need the red jacket. Maybe the other red. Not this red, the other red. Can I have a chair? I'm going to show how many of the ladies here like to wear red baju kurung. Can I know? Maybe you stand up for me to see. You all like to wear red baju kuro? For what occasion? We're wedding. Okay. Take a seat. Just hold on for a while. We'll use the other red jacket for her. Right. Can you remove this? Honest, huh? When you wear this red baju kurung, let's say if this is a baju kurung, <laughs> okay, if this is a baju kurung, it looks very exciting. I will ask you now, does she look like she's angry sometimes? Stop smiling. <laughs> does she look angry? Does she look like she's got a lot of fire like the red engine? Right. So when you wear for kanduri, it's okay, but when you wear for business, it may not be so okay because it looks kind of aggressive. And when you look kind of aggressive, people may be a bit fearful of getting near to you. Right? We do the same one, and now we're going to put it on. Yes, it's the same one. So, your better bet. Uh huh. This is fire engine rate. And you see, can she handle this rate? It gives her more power. Whereas if your, your own features are really very strong and if you use very strong red, it makes you look more garang. And if you wear the whole thing red here, like this, from far, look like a, look like what? Fireball. You know what's fireball? Macam api jalan, jalan, jalan. So it's kind of bahaya so, right? So this will be a more grounded one. That means your red, add a little bit of dark inside to look more grounded. I think this is a safer one for you here. Yeah? So you could wear this. Right, to the back there. It's a bit vague. Right. All right, so thank you, ladies. Just to sum up a bit of the red for the ladies, when you're wearing red, you may not want to wear everything red. So you wear a touch of red, it will give you some excitement. It makes people feel that you are more ambitious. It makes people feel that you are more passionate about your work. But when you have too much of red, it could show that, especially if you don't smile it's me, you could show that you are angry all the time. Yeah. What about the men? Do you think this one attract or distract? Let's see. Tell me. Yes. If you feel that this one on the right, attract or distract? Middle? Attract. Attract. Left? Attract. Dangerous, huh? So I asked the guys, what do you think if Mr. KK Chawa wear this red? Oh. Maybe all the bees will come after him. Right, so it's a bit too much. So when you like it, you shock Sundari Sajjan. So you want to wear something that...